The market started out with positive trading this morning. The Dow was up about 50, 55 points a good part of the day and the early part of the day. However, near the end of the day, they could not hold it. They were still fading off, which is normal trading uh, psychology. When you're in a downtrend, they usually take it up in the morning and bring it back down in the afternoon. Whereas in the uh, uptrends, they take it down in the morning and bring it back, back up in the afternoon. As of right now, there's nothing to show that uh, we've had a reversal. But we did do a doji today in the Dow, which means if it came back up through uh, today's high, the bulls are still there. That's probably going to be more indication that there may be at least a bounce back up to the T-line. And the NASDAQ did come down and touch the 200-day moving average. So uh, uh, it bounced off of there, did a little spinning top. So now it's just a matter of seeing whether they kind of hug the uh, 200 until the uh, the uh, Dow comes down and uh, also tests the 200 or whether they start uh, taking it up from the uh, NASDAQ bouncing off below. Even though we're in a downtrend, there are good shorts that are still working, but there's still some good long positions working. For example, SPPI had a hammer, kind of a tweezer bottom, gap up today, uh, closed right at the T-line. If it opens positive, might be wave one, wave two, wave three. And VHC uh, starting to round out. Notice all the dojis that formed right here on the T-line. Now they're starting to uh, curl back up again. So even in the uh, down market, there are positions that are showing strength for those that do not like to short. And in the last few days, we went long in the uh, lean hogs, August. They backed off a little bit today, but just look more like consolidating than any reversal. Uh, notice the scoop type pattern setting up, which makes the 50-day uh, moving average the next viable target. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.